I'm going to be talking about Wrestling Organization Online, better known as Woo. It's a new wrestling themed play to earn business management game with auto battler elements that will be launching on the Hive Network in the coming weeks. The other cool thing about Woo is their commitment to giving back to the wrestling industry. Particularly independent wrestlers or managers who have entertained us in the past or continue to entertain us by putting their bodies on the line. So far, partnered wrestlers have received 10% of the sales from both NFT and LAN pack sales. And I'll link an article in the description that explains the impact of this on one of the partnered wrestlers, Perry Saturn. I'm lucky enough to be involved in the beta testing for the game prior to launch and I've ran some test matches that I'm going to be talking through. But first, let me give a quick high-level explanation of some of the key game mechanics, and I'll also do a future video going into more depth on these in the coming weeks. First up, let's talk about speed. Simply put, for every one speed advantage you have, this translates to a 10% chance of your opponent missing when they try to attack you. So the bigger the speed gap, the bigger the advantage. This becomes even more relevant when it comes to win conditions, like submissions and pins, which leads us on nicely to the next section. Next up is pin chance. The amount of health your opponent has left when you attempt to pin greatly impacts your chances of completing the pin and getting the win. If your opponent has 4 or more health, you have a 1% chance of getting the pin. As you can see, the pin chance rises significantly as your opponent's health level decreases all the way to a 99% chance if they have 0 health left. Next, let's talk about resistance. Each wrestler has an associated wrestling style, which is shown at the top right hand side of the NFT card. The three styles are Powerhouse, which is shown by the broken bone icon, High Flyer, which is shown by the wings icon, or Technical, which is shown by the cogs icon. As shown in this diagram, it works in a rock, paper, scissors style. Each wrestling style has one which it is weaker against and one which it is stronger against. Resistance causes the damage received to be halved if it's coming from the style that you have resistance against. Last up, let's talk about moves. Each wrestler has three moves which are shown at the bottom of their NFT card. The wrestlers do their moves in order from left to right, but if they miss a move then they go back to their first move. This is really important as most wrestlers only have a win condition on their third move in the form of a finisher, pin or submission. So if they miss one of the first two moves, they won't get the win condition until later in the fight. So you're seeing again why speed is so important, as it affects your ability to connect with your moves. And the other thing about finishers and submission finishers is that they do double the damage. Okay, it's time for the first match of the night. It's Billy Mayhem against Chase Martin. Billy's a high flyer, he has 5 speed, does 1 damage and has 5 health. Chase is a powerhouse. He has 3 speed, does 1 damage, and has 10 health. Billy has both a resistance and speed advantage, but will he be able to overcome Chase's health pool, which is double his own? Let's find out. In the famous words of Bruce Buffer, It's time! Billy moves first as he has the higher speed rating. There's also a 0% chance of Billy missing due to having higher speed. Billy hits Chase with his first move and Chase's new health stat is 9. Chase moves next as he has the lower speed rating. There's also a 20% chance of him missing due to a speed difference of 2. Chase hits Billy with his first move for 1 damage and Billy's new health stat is 4. Billy moves again and he hits Chase. Chase's new health stat is 8. Chase moves, but Chase missed his move. Billy moves again, and because it's his third move, he attempts his finisher, and he hits, which means it does two times the damage. Chase's new health stat is 6, and Billy attempts a pin, and there's a 1% chance as Chase has plus 4 health. No pin. Chase kicks out. Chase moves, and he attempts his first move again because he missed in the last round. Chase hits, and Billy's new health stat is 3. Billy moves again and he attempts his finisher again and hits for 2 damage. Chase's new health stat is 4. Billy attempts a pin but again there's a 1% chance. No pin. Chase kicks out again. Chase moves and attempts his second move. Chase hits 
and Billy's new health start is 2. Billy moves again and he attempts his finisher. Billy hits Chase for 2 damage. Chase's new health start is 2. Billy attempts a pin and there's a 50% chance. The crowd goes wild. Billy pins Chase for the win. If you're enjoying this content, then please give us a like and subscribe so that you can say YOU JUST MADE THE LIST! Next up we have a tag match between the Bevan Brothers and the Daltons. The Bevan Brothers are technical wrestlers and they have 4 speed, do 2 damage and have 10 health. The Daltons are high flyers, they've got 6 speed, do 1 damage and have 10 health. The Bevans have a resistance advantage against the Daltons and they also do more damage. But will they be able to overcome the speed disadvantage and connect when they need to? The Daltons move first as they've got the higher speed rating. As before in the Billy vs Chase match, there's a 0% chance of them missing. The Daltons hit the Bevans and the Bevans new health start is 9. The Bevan brothers move next as they've got the lower speed rating. There's also a 20% chance of them missing due to the speed difference of 2. The Bevans hit the Daltons for 2 damage and the Daltons new health start is 8. The Daltons move again and they hit the Bevans. Bevans new health start is down to 8. Bevans move again and they hit Daltons for 2 damage. The Daltons new health start is 6. The Daltons move next and they attempt to finish her. So there's a 2 times bonus applied to the damage, but there's also resistance at play between high flying and technical. So the damage is halved again and it ends up being 1. Bevans new health start is 7 and the Daltons attempt to pin. There's a 1% chance as the Bevans have plus 4 health and there's no pin. Bevans kick out. The Bevans move next and they attempt a finishing move of their own. And there's a 2 times bonus applied to the damage and there's no resistance at play. The Bevans hit and the Dalton's new health stat is 2. The Bevans attempt a quick pin and there's a 50% chance of them making it. No pin. The Daltons kick out. The Daltons then move again and they attempt another finisher and connect. The Bevans new health stat is 6. The Daltons attempt another pin and there's a 1% chance as the Bevans still have plus 4 health. No pin. The Bevans move again, and the Bevans attempt to finish her again and connect. The Dalton's new health stat is 0, and the Bevans attempt to pin. There's now a 99% chance of them making it. And the Bevans take the W. Next up is a female singles match between Ida May and Willow White. Ida May is a powerhouse, although the current card art shows her as technical. She's got 3 speed, does 2 damage and has 7 health. Willow White is a high flyer who has 5 speed, does 1 damage and has 6 health. Will Willow's speed and resistance advantages be enough to help her get the win? Let's find out. Willow White moves first as she's got the higher speed rating and she hits Ida. Ida's new health stat is 6. Ida moves next as she's got the lower speed rating and there's a 20% chance of her missing due to the speed difference. Ida's damage is also half to 1 as there's resistance between high flying and powerhouse. Ida hits Willow and Willow's new health stat is 5. Willow moves next and she hits Ida and her new health stat is 5. Ida moves again and she hits Willow for 1 damage. Willow's new health is 4. Willow moves next and she attempts her finisher which has got 2 times damage. Willow hits Ida and Ida's new health stat is 3. Willow also attempts a pin and there's a 25% chance as Ida's got 3 health. And Willow's in luck, she's pinned Ida May for the win. Next up is the main event and it's time for a rematch between Billy Mayhem and Chase Martin, but this time there's managers involved. Billy's got Pizza Baron in his corner, whilst Chase Martin's got Ivan Shyster in his. Again, Billy's a high flyer, he's got 5 speed and does 1 damage, but this time, because of Pizza Baron's boost, his health has went up from 5 to 7. Again, Chase is a powerhouse, but with Ivan's boost, Chase's speed goes up from 3 to 4. He still does 1 damage and he's got 10 health. Billy's still got a resistance advantage, but Chase has reduced Billy's speed advantage to 1, whilst Billy has boosted his health pool, so should be able to stay in the fight for longer. So Billy kicks us off in the main event as he's still got the higher speed rating. And Billy hits Chase and Chase's new health start is 9. 
Chase moves second as he still has a lower speed rating, but he has reduced the chance of missing down from 20% to 10%. But even with the increased speed, Chase has missed his first move. Billy moves again and he hits Chase. Chase's new health stat is 8. Chase moves next and he hits Billy. Billy's new health stat is 6. Billy moves again and he attempts his finisher, which is 2 times the damage. Billy hits Chase for 2 damage and Chase's new health stat is 6. Billy attempts a pin and there's a 1% chance as Chase has plus 4 health. No pin, Chase kicks out. Chase moves next and he hits Billy. Billy's new health stat is 5. Billy moves again and he attempts his finisher. He hits Chase for 2 damage again and Chase's new health stat is 4. Billy attempts another pin and there's still a 1% chance as Chase has 4 health. The pin's not successful. Chase moves next. Chase attempts a finisher, so there's a 2 times bonus applied to the damage, but High Flying has a resistance against Powerhouse, so the damage is half back to 1. Chase hits, and Billy's new health stat is 4. Chase attempts a pin, and there's a 1% chance as Billy has 4 health. The pin is not successful. Billy moves again, and he attempts another finisher. He hits Chase for 2 damage, and Chase's new health stat is 2. Billy attempts a pin, and there's a 50% chance as Chase has 2 health. And Billy Mayhem takes the main event. A huge thank you for watching through to the end, and please leave some feedback or questions in the comments section. Until next time. Woo!